Our next topic is nitrogen, and I just want to give you a quick summary on nitrogen. Don't ever be short on nitrogen, or you're going to lose yield. How do you like that? <laughs> I love that piece of advice, but the same is true with all your nutrients. You don't want to be short, you want to have enough for what that crop is going to need. But with nitrogen in particular, it's the one that many crops, especially crops like corn and wheat, that's their primary nutrient that they need more than any other. They need more pounds of nitrogen. And fortunately for us, there's lots of nitrogen in the air. Some crops are able to utilize that better than others. We'll talk about a number of different things during our nitrogen talk today. Well, the biggest issue that we've got with nitrogen is you don't want to lose it. So I said you got to make sure you have enough, but you also don't want to have so much that you lose it or put it out at the wrong time so you lose it. What I'm talking about here is nitrogen is very leachable in the nitrate form. So you can have this nitrogen that converts to the nitrate form and then it can wash down through soil with water. If you have very light soil, very sandy soil with even a couple inches of rain, you might move that nitrogen down six inches or a foot. It can move very quickly. So you've got to look at what soil type you have and how much nitrogen you're Applying. So let's talk just a little about cation exchange capacity along those lines. Oh, Brian, cation exchange capacity is an interesting topic because some people think it's not very important, but for us, we think it's critical to know where our cation exchange capacities are on our farm, especially as we're striving for higher corn yields. The reason why cation exchange capacity tells you the basic holding capacity of your soil. It's a measurement of the organic matter level of your soil, but also the type of clay and the amount of clay that your soil has. So just real quickly, if you take your cation cation exchange capacity times 10, that'll give you an idea of roughly how much nitrogen your soil can hold at any one time. So let's say you have a really sandy soil that has a 5 cation exchange capacity, multiply that times 10, and you'll get 50. So at any one time, you can have 50 pounds of nitrogen out there. That's not very much that for a 200 sound, bushel crop. It sounds like a lot of work when you want to put on 200 pounds of nitrogen to raise your crop and you can only put 50 on in one shot, you're going to have to split apply that nitrogen throughout the season. Now, environmentally speaking, that's a great recommendation. And you say, wow, you know, I can put a little bit out just as that crop is going to need it. This is going to be fantastic, but it is going to be a little bit more work if that's the type of soil you're farming. Okay, let's, let's get specific in our nitrogen recommendation. When it comes to corn, if you're raising continuous corn, on our farm, we're using a factor of either 1.15 or 1.2 times our yield goal. So if our yield goal is 200, and let's say we're using the 1.2 factor, 1.2 times 200 is 240 pounds of nitrogen. That's how much N we'd put out there in a continuous corn situation. In a corn-soybean rotation, for the corn, we're going to use a factor of either 0.85 or 0.9. So let's say we use 0.9 times our yield goal of 200. That would equal 180 pounds of nitrogen. If we had just planted soybeans this year and we're going to corn next year, we're going to get 180 pounds of actual nitrogen out there for next year's corn. Now this is kind of interesting because it is going to vary a little bit depending on where you're living and what kind of organic matter levels you have in your soil. Let's say for example you have 5% organic matter level versus 2, you're going to have a little more free nutrient release from that high organic matter level soil. In other words, you can cut back on the amount of nitrogen you are applying if you have very nutrient rich soils. Likewise, if you have that corn on corn rotation, you're going to need lots of nitrogen because some of the nitrogen does get tied up in the residue. So in other words, the bacteria that are breaking down the residue, they use nitrogen as a food to help them break down that residue. Eventually you'll get that nitrogen back, but it might be several years later. So in the short term, you've got to make sure you have enough nitrogen. And that's the number one issue we see in continuous cornfields. Guys just don't have enough N. And that's the one nutrient you cannot afford to be short on. So again, as Brian started off uh, talking about nitrogen today, you don't want to run short on nitrogen. It's the nutrient that your crop needs the most of. So make sure that you're applying the right amount of nitrogen for your soils and for your crops. Well, nitrogen is really important for plants, but another thing that's important is having great weed control out there. We'll tell you how to stop this week's weed coming up later in the show.